thanks. And I could see just by looking around at the students, they were just in rapt attention um, for the hour or so of the performance and, and probably for another hour after that as well. I think the, I kept on thinking of talking the talk, uh, that the performers, you know, were young, uh, beautiful, cool, exactly what the youth needed, uh, saying very much the messages that they needed to hear. And I was thinking of those super safer sexual skills and I think today we really learned a lot about one of them, which was particularly knowledge. Uh, I'm feeling so much better that our students at whole base about social issues has been so magnificently covered by Ashe that I don't think they'll ever forget. And I think particularly afterwards, uh, the messages were reinforced by going through the main points again and then a very relaxed question time when kids were able to ask their own questions. So I think undoubtedly, um, well I was thinking actually after the performance and driving away, I was thinking imagine in a day that you saved perhaps 10, 20, 30 children's lives, which I really think was what happened today by the excellent way the knowledge was imparted that you probably did save many, many children's lives today. We have found Ashe to be informed, to be initiative, always initiating, you can always depend on them, to come out looking different, responsive to the situation in a very creative way, and then the eye, very involved. We feel that Ashe has managed to teach many of our teachers or counselors or parents to become involved. I'm no sitting on the lines. I, I went to the Asha workshop as a parent. However, I am a trained teacher. I am an, I'm also a trained trainer. I'd like to say I've never experienced anything like that. I have coordinated workshops myself and when I went to the Asha workshop, I was ignited. I was ignited. The three days just lifted us and I could, because I have that kind of skills, when I watch the parents, I could see the transformation. I didn't know it could happen so quickly. I could see the transformation and in the nights when we were talking in our rooms, they were talking about going back to their children to talk about sexuality and to what they're going to do and what they're going to do. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I saw that this workshop is something that we could move throughout Jamaica. And we even, we even um, coined something to say we are going to be the parents for transformation. Ashe always celebrates, always seems to be celebrating something. When you have a package such as that, the curriculum, the health and family life curriculum must benefit. And for that reason, we have worked with Ashe to train most of our counselors, have been um, taken through the VIBES methodology. Ashe facilitators conduct three-day workshops with teachers, counselors, and parents. In these workshops, participants are shown how to create an atmosphere that will stimulate the interest and get the acceptance of young people. They learn to open lines of communication, decrease stigma about sexuality and sexual issues, and provide role models for youth. Ashe's executive director, Mr. Conroy B. Wilson, who, along with myself, facilitate many of Ashe's workshops, will now take you through the Ashe workshop format. The Ashe EIC model is usually a four-day process. Um, usually residential because uh, the intense work that is done with the participants um, and we get most of their energies concentrated um, in sessions between 9 and 5. It is called the ASHE EIC transformational model because it looks at the transformation of the participants versus change which will come later on in, the, in our workshop. The first section of our of our workshop looks at excitement, which represents the E in the EIC model. 
people are bored with the regular talk and chalk method and so we have used the performing arts to make it exciting but to still to accomplish the results of transformation which is what we seek to do anyway. Um, in the excitement phase we look at various energizers we call them such as the statue dance. Um, in this exercise they are able to dance freely with, without any choreographed uh, systematic way but just express themselves to some music, normally different types of music um, and also in this exercise they learn the ability of control and the discipline because they dance and they pause the music which they are asked to freeze and not move. So for a lot of participants it's also exciting, you know, they get to freeze in different positions, um, sometimes they get to introduce themselves to each other, so it's also an icebreaker. It's also a means, an exciting way of getting to know each other. Then they are, in this exercise we also have mock me, a mock me exercise in which participants um, mock each other. One person is normally in the lead and they are required to do whatever that person does um, and they are encouraged to be as creative or as silly as some of us would call it. We do the animal farm exercise. The animal farm exercise um, gets us to uh, get to know each other because uh, the participants are divided into different groups based on the animals that they receive um, on a piece of paper um, and then we, they, we are, they are asked to become those animals and to, to find like animals and in the course of finding those like animals they introduce themselves find out what they like about uh, what they're feeling now um, where they're from, um, what are the things that they like to do, and uh, when they get to heaven, what is one thing that must be there. And so that generates a lot of laughter and excitement and some embarrassment because some participants are much more reserved, some are much more outspoken. And they have that discussion after which they are invited to share um, with the larger group in their different um, animal groups and the groups the larger group then has to guess what kind of animal it is and they are invited to create a symbol of, of what the group feels um, and how what was expressed within the smaller groups in terms of what must be in heaven and so you find the similarities between the groups and the individuals coming out in that way. After which they are encouraged also to create a song, a small, a, a, a very short jingle um, which expresses what they feel, what they like, what must be in heaven um, and all the things that they have discussed and you have the facilitators who guide the process of creating the jingle. In the initial stages most people tend to think, ah you know, to create a song it's a big thing and I don't know how to do it but after they realize it's, it's no, it's not any big task is just to put the words together in terms of how they feel and put a melody or some rhythm to it um, and they present all of this to the larger group. The facilitators of the process now help to put all of the songs together. Each group learns each other's songs and they all put all the songs together and they create what is a nice little jingle which symbolizes the basis of the workshop and how people are feeling and the things that they would like to be in heaven and which is usually love and excitement and energy and that constitute the first part of our excitement phase. People begin to feel excited, energized, they begin to become a part of the process. So they're not just sitting on and listening to somebody lecturing, so they become involved in the process. At the end of the excitement process, which includes the energizers, animal farm, mock me, the statue dance, the participants are able to clearly identify the process, the EIC process, which is what they have been involved in since the workshop has started. The first phase of the excitement, the second phase of the involvement. And so they feel ownership, they feel like a part of the workshop and they feel like what they have done and what they are doing is what is coming from them. It's not something that somebody is putting into them, but it's something as we are facilitators, we are facilitating the growth process in the, in the entire workshop. We then look at the whole system of transformation versus change. A lot of the times we find that um, in workshops and in classes and working with our young people, our students and our children, we use a system of change where we try to change things from a particular as opposed to the whole process of transformation.